Hello guys, welcome to another amazing, amazing Objective C tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be working with, let's see, the rectangle class and editing it to add our new and improved origin. And guess what just happened to me? I just made this tutorial like 10 minutes ago and I went to export it, save it, and it says, oh, the program just unexpectedly shut down. And I was like, oh, thanks. So now, this is actually my second time doing this tutorial. So I had to go back and delete everything. So I don't know if I got everything. I guess I'll find out right here. So, uh, yeah, see, I already see one thing. Import foundation right there. That's a new thing I typed in. I think that's it. So anyways, we made this class called XY point and this was our pretty much our origin so now we have to go back to our rectangle class and this is your interface file for rectangle and add all the origin data so the first thing that we want to do see I already see another thing I added just uh, just pretend you didn't see what just happened right there so the first thing you want to do is after importing foundation is go ahead above your interface and you want to reference the class x y point and this is going to be because we're going to be working with origin objects so let me just type this in right here so I can finish explaining x y point not only does your rectangle have a width and a height now it also has an origin object right like that so what's going to happen is this your interface rectangle has a width that's integer it's going to look through, it's going to say, oh, you have another integer called height, that's all right, I know all those things are variables, int, and then it's going to say, all right, WTF is X, Y point, I've never seen that, that isn't built into my system, and what's this, star origin, WTF, and it's going to be like, oh, I see what's going on here, this was never built into my system like integers and stuff, you made your own class called XY point. So if we didn't have this little reference right here, when it came across this, it wouldn't know what's going on. So now when we come across it, you know, we already told it it's a class that we made. So that's what this and this means. So aside from that, um, what we want to do is we want to build methods to deal with this new origin property. We want to build one method to pretty much just get it back whenever we need our origin so it can tell us what it is and we need another method to set the origin to a point like 100 200 um, 800 600 so let's go ahead and build the headers for those right there um you don't need to include them for a property uh, because we're gonna be well you won't don't worry about it um the first thing we're gonna do is return our origin to us so let's go ahead and XY point where we want to be getting an origin object back and we want to name this method origin so whenever we call this method all it's going to do is return the origin to us simple enough and these methods are incredibly simple once you see uh, us build them the next method what we're going to build is called set origin and we are going to pass it an xy point and we'll just name that point and what it's going to do is pretty much set the origin for us. Oh yeah, you probably couldn't tell that by the name, could you? So let's go ahead and copy these for the headers. I want to make sure I didn't do anything else. Looks good enough. Now in your implementation class, uh, let me make sure I didn't include anything from the other tutorial. All right, import rectangle image, implement rectangle with size. See, I, I think all we need to do is uh, make our methods pretty cool so let's go ahead and make our method bodies right now and all this origin does right here is it returns origin and maybe this will make sense after I build this body right here then I'll explain it um, what set origin does is we're gonna pass it a point and we're actually gonna pass it an origin object called PT so we want to take that origin object and we want to set it equal to origin okay set equal to PT so now check this out the point we pass it which is going to be pretty much the object that we pass it is going to be equal to origin so now whenever we return origin it returns this X Y object so that is how you can set the origin by passing it a 
point object named PT and that is also how you return the origin so uh, let me make sure I have everything right here I think that's everything I wanted to cover in this tutorial I mean in the next tutorial we're gonna be getting into the real fun stuff of pretty much well let me say this first of all not I mean it doesn't matter what we're gonna be in the next tutorial the easy way to see this is in the parentheses that's what you're getting back we're getting nothing back in this method we're just doing stuff setting something equal to something else in this method we're getting back an object that's going to be the origin see on the right hand side of the colon that's what you give it in this method we're giving it an origin object named PT in this method we're giving it nothing we're just getting it back this is a greedy one so that's an easier way to see it so anyways uh, now that I said that, in the next tutorial we're going to be typing in all the data and watching this program actually run. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Remember, if you want any of the source code, click on the link below and it's going to be a free source code for you. You know, just go to my forum, check it out, and copy and paste it in your program. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out my forum. And I will see you guys later.